we are still here. I know it seems like you probably haven't seen much of us and not a whole lot I can do about that. But we are still here and a lot has been going on. Today we'll do our best to try to catch you guys up. Look at this goofball. She just had to come out. She's walking so well these days that she looks like a normal goat that never had anything wrong with her. As you probably saw, the previous paddock was pretty well taken care of. So I've been spending the morning building a new one, relocating the chickens and ducks over there, and building the new paddock over here. Pretty time consuming, but it's necessary, as you've probably seen from previous videos. All right, I'm done making the new paddock. That was exhausting. It's really hot already, and the ground is super hard. So it, it took me over four hours, uh, everything involved, moving the fence, putting it in, hammering it in. I had to go around and hammer each spike into the ground. It is it's just really dry and really, really tough right now. Not exactly how I wanted to spend over four hours of my time, <laughs> but uh, it needed to be done. So I'm gonna take a quick break and then I guess I'm gonna come back out here. Hey, quit biting me, knucklehead. Hey, Adam, is that yummy? Are you enjoying your new area? I think everybody's enjoying their new area. Rosemary here, as you can tell from her udder, is ready to kid. I think I actually see milk dripping off of her teeth. So her ligaments are completely gone. Her udder is completely full. I'm expecting labor to begin any minute, literally. So she, we are expecting her to kid today. Um, hopefully earlier than later. But right now she's just in active mowing mode. She's going to enjoy all this lush vegetation, and then she's going to have some beautiful babies for us. Nancy girl is supposed to be kidded already. She's eight days overdue, or she might be just three days overdue if the, it was the second breeding that took. So I'm not too worried. She's acting very healthy and strong and enjoying all the lush vegetation, as is everyone else. He's, we just had the paddock move to this new location, and the goats are thoroughly enjoying it. What are you doing, kitty? Are you going to stand up to get that branch? You like standing up to get branches? Huh? Come on, show everybody how you act like a giraffe. Nope, she's not going to do it. She usually reaches her neck up to get those. See, she's looking at them. <laughs> she's our giraffe. There you go. <laughs> Teaching them babies how to do it too. You're so cute. <laughs> Autumn loves her mama, follows her around. She has been interacting more with the younger goats. So she's developing a little bit of a bald spot on her forehead. And that's where she's been bumping heads and trying to establish her place in the herd, which is a huge, happiness for this mama as much as I don't like to see her little bald spot where she's bumped her head so many times with other goats the fact that she's able to bump heads with other goats like a normal goat is super precious and she still loves her mommy 
She does. She loves me so much. She loves us all, too. She followed Ryan around while he was setting up the paddock. She cries for the boys when they walk past. She is just a lover. You gonna go play? You can go play. Oh, she wants mommy again. Rubbing on mommy, rubbing on mommy, 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 mommy. <laughs> Good strong girl. So happy for her. You got your doggies? Yeah. They love their dada. They what like are you them. using for fly control on them? Uh, this ointment called SWAT. Is it working? It seems to work. It's not a... It's not... It only goes on certain spots. It doesn't cover their whole body. But for the spots on the tips of their nose and their ears, it seems to work for a couple days at least. So it's probably time for make for me to make up another batch of my natural bug spray to spray their bodies with then, huh? Probably. It is fly season. They love their daddy. They just sit for pets. They sit for pets in love. Such good dogs. <laughs> More daddy. More. You're a big pup. Ugh, I was going to call you Liam. Titus, you're a big pup. Khaleesi, you sweet girl. What you got there, Dada? Got <gasps> Daisy wanted out. Daisy really wanted to come out. So we're doing a little... This isn't on, is it? No. You sure? Yeah. <sighs> we're doing a little day early or so. For her sake, the babies, can you come under it? The babies don't seem ready to come out because they're so tiny, but mama is. And all this fresh vegetation will do her milk production a lot of good. See, uh, oh, she goes right to it, yeah. I would put them right about where the ducks are right now so that they're in an open spot where she can see them. And then she'll come to them, I'm sure once she realizes that they're not with her. They're up there, baby. So Daisy's dealing with a little bit of congested udder, which can happen sometimes. Um, and it's, we're giving her lots of calm free and stuff. So I think coming out here on the new vegetation is gonna help get her all the minerals that she needs from all of this vegetation. So. The babies will probably stay right with her and we're going to be out here working all day so we're going to be keeping a close eye on things so this is a perfect day to transition them to outside plus it's really hot in the barn even with the fan on it's just it's georgia summer hey may may look at them you got some new friends here Hey, Rosemary. How you feeling? Getting close? Rosemary is definitely seeming like she's getting closer. She's cried out a couple of times with a brand new voice I've never heard her have. So I expect she felt some things happening in her body that she wasn't familiar with. And it was a little confusing for her. It was a very questioning like sound she was making. So... I'm staying close, close, close. So they're all up here in the middle paddock area. Lots of shade from the big, huge pecan tree. And all of these pecans and oaks over here along the side of the barn. So they're going to have some great shade, some great fresh air, and some wonderful new nutritious forage. Meanwhile, I'm going to go over there and see what I can do in that garden. Maybe get something done. We were supposed to have some helpers come on Friday, but they canceled last minute. And we're possibly rescheduling, but not sure where that's going to go. So, looks like we're on our own.